Now they're the must-have accessory that most girls won't leave home without. But you may be carrying a lot more than you bargain for in your handbag. Here to explain all is microbiologist Dr. Orla Cahal. Orla, you're very welcome. Thank you very much. Now, for most women, they'll say their lives are in that handbag. They live out of it. It's their communication center. They probably keep their baby stuff in there a lot of the time. Absolutely. Makeup, phone, money, you name it. How can they be bad for you? Well, they can be because unknown to you, you're carrying around lots of bacteria on various items on and in your handbag mm -hmm. um, that you're in regular contact with through your hands, through, you know, leaving down on surfaces and then taking up and putting into your handbag. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can actually pick up and accumulate a lot of bacteria. Okay. On the surface of your handbag and in, on the contents within your, within your bag. All right. Well, you actually ran some tests for us on a Sorry. random sample of handbags. We're going to take a look at that now. Every woman loves her handbag, and for most is a favourite they use every day. However, this regular daily usage can encourage dangerous bacteria to thrive on and in their bags. So what's lurking in your handbag? Pretty nasty bacteria. Uh, I dread to think what you did find. One of the areas that you tested were keys that are jingling around in most handbags Absolutely. and also shoes. A lot of girls being yeah. healthy walk to work. Walk to work and then put their shoes, shoes into their into handbags. Their bags. Yeah. So you tested keys and shoes amongst other items. Yeah. What did you find? I found E. coli and um, E. coli, which you don't realize that you're actually picking up on the, on the soles of your shoes, you're picking up. Um, uh, animal excrement basically which has um, E. coli contained within it. Mm -hmm. So if you transfer your shoes then into your bag um, you could potentially transmit that E. coli onto different items within your handbag. Um, so then when you put your hands in to, to pick up that item or pick out your mobile phone or whatever, it goes, onto, it your goes hands. onto your hands and then onto various different other surfaces that you touch. Now we've all heard about E. coli, it is dangerous, what does it cause? Um, most often it causes gastrointestinal disruption um, characterized by vomiting, diarrhea, so if you ingest any of those bacteria into your system it will actually cause you know, um, you know, gastrointestinal inf infection. Um, and then if your immune system is any way suppressed, which, you know, it happens at time, mm -hmm. you know, to us all at some sure. stage, um, it could lead to, to worse infections, you okay. know, so like um, pneumonia, meningitis, other infections like that. So, wow. so it's fairly, you know, it's, an, it's a nasty bacteria. Absolutely. One yeah. of the other items you tested in the bags, whether you just got the swab and you put whatever was on the swab on the agar to, to yeah, grow, absolutely. the mobile phone, what did you find there? The mobile phone, I found um, Staphylococcus aureus. Now, Staphylococcus aureus is the parent strain of MRSA, which we, we know we've heard about a lot in That's the hospitals. That's the hospital superbug. Absolutely. Um, I mean, it's we, approximately 40% of the population carries Staph aureus as, you know, natural organisms in our, our nasal passages mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, on our skin and, and on our hands so it, it's a it's a very very nasty organism especially if you if you are immunosuppressed in any way shape or form you found a lot um, of uh, staphylococcus strains yes. in the bags didn't yeah, you absolutely what else do they call they cause? What are they? Um, well, different infections. Staph aureus can cause um, just a basic um, skin infection, subcutaneous infections like boils, folliculitis, which is inf an infection of the, the, of the hair follicles. Um, also, um, eye infections like um, bacterial conjunctivitis, um, corneal ulcers. Um, These are other. serious absolutely. Uh, health issues, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, obviously your eyes are very sensitive anyway. Absolutely. I mean, corneal ulcers can lead to, to losing your sight, basically, if the infection is, is very, very severe. Um, so, you know, these are very severe infections. And again, if, if you are We're anyway, looking at a corneal ulcer there at the moment. Yeah, and it's absolutely. And that's um, bacterial conjunctivitis, which, um, you know, um, the, the natural, your conjunctiva, which is a translucent membrane on your eye, mm -hmm. um, you know, houses these bacteria naturally anyway. So You also um, tested mascara ones, of absolutely, course. Absolutely, yeah. And we're all told, this is hammered home a lot to, to, to girls, change yeah. your mascara every three months. Every How three many months. of us actually 
actually do it? Not very many, but you know, and we also share our mascaras, and you know, uh, these things are, these encourage you know bacteria, and because we actually have natural bacteria occurring in our eye, they can contaminate your mascara brush. And you know, why would the mascara brush be like? I mean, you hear the word breeding ground for for bacteria. Yes, would absolutely. it actually be as big a deal as that? Yeah, because you pick up these bacteria on the actual brush. Mm -hmm. You put the brush back into the casing, and you know, you know, sometimes you know, you we we were all guilty of doing it. We you know put the brush in and out and oh, incorporate pump, pumping yeah, it yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, you're actually encouraging more bacteria to grow because you're incorporating more air actually into the into the actual casing. So you know, and you can transmit those bacteria back onto your eye. And you know, sometimes we've done it. You know, if you're putting on your mascara mascara very quickly, mm -hmm. you can you know scratch, scratch your sure. surface of your we've eye. We've all done it. Yeah. Put it into Which our eye. can lead to these infections. You what know, about very people simply. out there, Orla? And I suppose our mother's generation would be big believers in this. Ara, for God's sake, wash your hands. We all need a few germs. If you're that susceptible to everything, you know, it, it, you just need to get out there, have a walk, eat plenty of fruit, and you'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, you need to be surrounded by a certain certain percentage or certain amount of, of, of bacteria, provided they're the right bacteria. Mm -hmm. But being aware that there are there is the potential to you know get these infections and knowing where these infections can or what, where where you can get these bad bacteria from, okay. um, you know, goes a long way to preventing unnecessary infection in the body. The other things you can do to prevent, of course, are to build up your own immune Absolutely. system. We have a few ideas here to help you with cleanliness yeah. and, and immunity. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could tell us about um, some of it. Well, you know, just ha you know, washing your hands on a regular basis mm -hmm. you know, is, is very important. So using, you know, your antibacterial hand washes and also um, antibacterial wipes um, go a long way. But can I ask you about the ant antibacterial wipes? A lot of girls will say go to the loo, particularly if they're out in clubs or pubs, mm -hmm. and because they're security yes. conscious, the, the, the bag will go down in the ground. Big no, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 because you're transferring. What you don't realise is that, you know, especially in, in the likes of toilets, again, you have enteric bacteria like E. coli that could be on the, on the surface, on, so on the ground. that's where the wipe comes in. So that's where the wipe comes in, because you wouldn't transfer, you wouldn't bring your, a toilet seat and put it onto your, your table. kitchen table. No, you wouldn't. So you wouldn't transfer your handbag from the toilet floor onto your kitchen table. So that's... Okay. You know. Another easy and nice, nice tasting one is probiotics. Of probiotics, course, probiotics. Yeah, these again, these infections occur in the body when you know if we are immunosuppressed at at specific times. If you've had a, a flu, a cold, have taken antibiotics, your immune system is lower, so you're more open to these infections. These probiotics will actually go a long way to to help you know put in good bacteria sure, into your body. Back into the system. Yeah, yeah. Orla, thank you so much for okay. that big lesson. Okay. I think we've all been had our eyes open to the kind of things we're unwittingly carrying around in our bags, be that handbags, man bags of course, or sports bags, and we're not even going to talk about that today. I'd say that's a whole other conversation. Absolutely. Thanks, Orla.